And welcome to another Mark Bishop show. I wonder why and how, during a time like this pandemic, that a firm like Massage Envy could be bringing in new clients to their licensed therapists. They've got 110 franchise locations every day across America. What say you, Beth Stiller? Oh, well, thanks for having me, Mark. You know what? Let me tell you, we actually have 1,150 locations now across the country in 49 states. So uh, wow. we're finding lots of people. Yeah, it's uh, in every neighborhood, really. I know um, you're right now in Tucson. We've got a lot of locations down in Tucson because we actually started in Arizona. That's okay. where the company uh, That's where the company started. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Beth Stiller is the CEO of Massage Envy. Now, Massage Envy is seeing customers requesting popular treatments like massage. Remember, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Stretch, rapid tension relief, and facials in close to pre-pandemic numbers. And, of course, fighting stress has always been difficult. That's one of the reasons people have turned to spas and massage therapy in the past. But, of course, as spas, gyms, and wellness centres reopen... All eyes are on how these businesses have adapted to the new normal and what strategies and protocols are in place to ensure the safety and comfort of returning customers. That's the key here, isn't it, Beth? It really is. People have not, I mean, not needed massage more than they do today, right, with the unprecedented levels of stress and anxiety people are going through. Um, Regular body care is so important, but of course... Uh, It's a fair question, right? Um, Am I comfortable going back into my local Massage Envy for for my massage or my skincare service? And we have spent a lot of time during during the last few months to make sure that you do absolutely feel that way by enhancing all of our safety protocols and processes and locations, which were already um, top-notch because we are a personal care business. And so Mm -hmm. that's you know, safety and sanitation has always been, you know, a cornerstone for the locations. Um, but we've enhanced them since the um, since the shutdown to make sure people do feel comfortable because we know how important it is for them to come back in. Well, that's that's what surprised me. You know, um, I was amazed at the at the numbers and the people coming back uh, to you. Um, yeah. But during this pandemic, and they must feel safe. I mean, I, I must admit, I go myself. I wear my mask in and so on. But I want you to talk about the enhanced mandatory cleaning and disinfection protocols, all the things that you're doing, you know, uh, to encourage people to go back. Because really, I'm putting my faith into you, aren't I? Yeah, you're absolutely right, and, and thank you for that. Um, there's there's two angles, right? There's the safety of the people that work in the location. So the franchisees have these amazing therapists, estheticians, caregivers that are just anxious to get back with you to help take care of you. And making sure that we had everything in place to make them feel comfortable coming back to work was the first priority. And then second, of course, was making sure, Mark, that when you came back in, that you were feeling cared for and safe. So uh, if you've been back in since your location reopened, you will probably have seen some of those new protocols in place. So you would have been asked to do a screening questionnaire before you came in. Mm -hmm. Um, Your waiting room is no longer the lobby or the tranquility room. It's your car. So we make sure that we're limiting um, your contact with anyone in the location, getting you from your car right into your treatment room. That treatment room, as you can expect, um, is being cleaned and disinfected in between every single service, so you can feel confident that the room you're going in has been um, treated and is ready for you. And something that you don't see is the fact that every single person that works in a massage envy location is required to take some very specific training that we worked on during um, the time when locations were closed to help them understand infection control and prevention and understand exactly what is required to ensure that they're keeping those locations safe. So uh, we've, we've really made sure that between social distancing and masks and all of those cleaning protocols and training uh, and using technology to make it a seamless and contactless type of experience that we've got all of those bases covered and people are coming back. We, we were surprised to see how quickly people came back. We've done over 4 million services uh, so, since the locations have reopened. Well, I got to ask you this. Why do you think so many people are craving body treatments right now? 
Yeah, I mean, your the level of stress in this country right now, I, I think, is unprecedented, and that's a word that gets used a lot, but I think it absolutely applies. Mm -hmm. I just saw a study recently come out that 83% of Americans are feeling stressed about the future, and, you know, that's mental stress that has physical side effects. So mm -hmm. people carry their stress in lots of ways, right? I know I carry mine in my shoulders, and I can tell when I'm mentally stressed because my body starts to talk back to me. Uh, and then, of course, we can't ignore the millions of people that are now trying to balance their family life and their work life mm -hmm. by working from home. And, and they're not working in their ergonomic chair or in their perfect setup at their office. They're right. on the couch or on the floor or at the kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. And all of that time on our devices in less than optimal conditions means that our bodies need some extra attention. And, uh, and that's exactly what uh, the therapists and estheticians are there to help provide. Well, I guess you're getting feedback from members too uh, about the importance of massage because you're right. We definitely build up a lot of stuff inside our bodies and the types of short and long-term complications are, you know, are working from home, everybody goes, oh, beaut, working from home, la da da But there are a lot of complications and you're right, you don't have the same ergonomic furniture and so on and there's others. What steps has Massage Envy taken to ensure, uh, other than what you've mentioned, that the locations are indeed safe? Yeah, I think in addition to some of the things we talked about, the other thing that we've done is taken a look at how technology can help, right? Uh, the one benefit of, of having locations closed was it gave us a chance to take a look at everything we do. And using technology and increasing the way we use technology to make those visits seamless, um, so to allow you to check in online, to it basically breeze from your car right through to your service room means that uh, you have less points of contact in the location and uh, we can do that survey that you need to do or the screening questionnaire. We can do all of that online. So making sure that we've got as contactless as possible outside of your exact your service in the room mm -hmm. um, in place has been, has been really important. And those are the types of things that, uh, you know, are, are things that we're going to carry with us beyond this pandemic uh, right. because, Members are really appreciating them, not only for the safety, but for the efficiency that they've provided. Well, Massage Envy is famous, of course, for massage, but what other services oh, do you yeah. offer? Yeah, taking care of your body is important, but we're also uh, interested in taking care of your largest, or your largest organ, which is your skin. So uh, we are the largest skincare service provider in the country, and our franchisees employ more estheticians than anybody else. So it's a really important part of our business, and whether that's a just a base facial service or an advanced skincare service like a chemical peel or a microderm infusion, or we've recently launched an amazing acne program um, in partnership with Proactive uh, to really help people, you know, kickstart their skincare routine for those who have acneic skin. There's a large part of our business that's done um, mm -hmm. in skincare. And what's amazing about um, a massage envy membership is you can choose to do a massage or a skincare service with your membership. So you can come in and, and choose to do one or both. One your or other, your right. membership services, both services, yeah. How many franchises again, locations now, up to date? Yeah, 1,150. 1,150. 49 states. Wow. Mm -hmm. You were promoted to CEO of Massage Envy back on November 25th, I think, 2019. Um, my question is, right. what have you learned by being the first woman leading Massage Envy? Yeah, I, you know what? It actually didn't occur to me until I started to get a flood of emails from managers and therapists and franchisees from across our, our network to say it's about time, right? A, a business that cares for people and has 75% of our clientele are female. It, um, it was ready, it was time for a female to lead the company. So uh, I think I've learned that in a business that's all about connections and personal connections, a female leader, and, and I think one of the values that I have um, personally as a leader and is one of our company's values, which was a great combination of empathy. Empathy and compassion could not be any more important in our business mm -hmm. um, as a business that cares for people. But in this time, right, it was not the way I imagined my first 10 months in the new <laughs> job going, obviously. Right. But uh, I think my leadership style and my focus on, um, you know, flexibility, being nimble, 
and being really empathetic to what not only our members and guests are going through, but what all of our franchisees are going through. These are amazing entrepreneurs and small business owners across the country that have had a really stressful um, and challenging number of months and yeah. uh, being available and open to understanding what they're going through and trying to find as many solutions for them as possible uh, has been really, really important. Well, my time has run out, but I would like to ask you, how do you balance your professional and family life? I mean, you must be one very busy little lady. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, better on some days than others. Uh, but you know, work, I've been working from home like a lot of us have been, and I tend to be optimistic and look at the silver lining. It's given me a chance to have breakfast with my boys, which is something I, I never get to do. It's been given me a chance to help with homework and, and do all of those things that people take for granted. But uh, in, in my roles in the past, I just haven't been around as much as I'd like. And, and so it's a, a blessing sort of that comes out of this really stressful time that, that I'm, I'm thankful for. Well, good job, ladies and gentlemen. Beth Stiller, CEO of Massage Envy right across America. What a wonderful job. Thank you for the time you've given us, and good luck for the future. Thank you so much, Mark.